Stan Jibalisco here uh, with a view of another great images in NASA <coughs> wallpaper image. This looks like a line of thunderstorms um, as seen from high above the earth, probably from a space shuttle or something like that. <coughs> it looks like a derecho to me. Uh, you can look that up in Wikipedia, but the point of this video is to show you something called a corner reflector antenna. And to that end, we'll cut right to the chase and I'll show you a generic diagram of a corner reflector antenna with a half-wave dipole serving as the driven element. Here's the reflector made of metal and uh, it uh, can be a screen or it can be solid sheet metal. The feed line goes uh, by means of feed through insulators through one of the panels and on to the radio. The maximum radiation comes out of the corner like that. It's, it's similar to a corner reflector that works for visible light, except instead of three sections as a visible light corner reflector would have, this only has two. And this flare angle does not necessarily have to be 90 degrees, although it usually is. There's the driven element again, usually a half-wave dipole. This is an antenna that you will commonly see used at VHF and UHF. You won't see it very often at HF. Uh, it's a good communications antenna for short-range links on a line of sight, such as you might have uh, the highway patrol using or government agencies of various sorts using, or amateur radio operators, of course, which use just about every known type of antenna and probably a few unknown types as well. I am an amateur radio operator, by the way, call sign W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. But for now, I will simply say, so long from high above the derecho, striking only the Lord knows where on our hapless planet Earth. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.